Hi guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel. If you turn around, we can see we're out here at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast because today's an interesting and special day because they've actually got the Wiggles here. So I thought let's come out to a park update and check out what it's like to have them here. So let's get into the park and see how we go, okay? Okay, so we've just got inside the gates. We've got a little bit until the show starts, so I think let's head down here towards Steel Taipan and see how that's going about a month on from opening and then we'll start going around the rest of the park. Okay, so the whole area is actually looking the same, it's still pretty cool. Let's go around the corner and just see what's going on here with the queue line. So it just goes past there. I don't think I'm actually going to jump on it today, it looks like there's actually next to no queue. Just because last time it really shook me around and I'm just not feeling that right now. So that's a real tiny queue. So let's turn, we'll head back around here and check out the rest of the park. As we go past, I'll point out, it looks like the little old school dress up sort of thing is closed. So it looks like that must be only a seasonal thing at the moment. Or at least when it's busy. While I've got a moment and I'm walking down towards the exhibition centre where actually the Wiggles show is to try and get a seat early on. I will point out, in case you guys have noticed, there's a quality difference between this uh, video and the other ones we've had. I've now actually upgraded to the um, Canon G7X Mark III. So that's what you guys are seeing in it. Just before we get in there, I will point out, we also noticed the shockwave is back up and running. So that's cool. I may actually come back out after it's try and check that out. But for the moment, let's turning and we're heading around here to try and get our seats. Okay? So I'm guessing they're expecting it's going to be quite busy today or at least in the next little bit because this is an extended queue for the gift shop of Shake Shack and the Gold Coaster which is different to the queue line that's set up here for the Wiggle Show. We'll get in line for that in a second but before we do that let's go quickly look in the Shake Shack and see what's going on in here since it's been closed. Okay so we've got some more plush and pillow pet sort of things. Also looks like we've got Tanner Show bags. Lots of show bags. So it looks like that's mostly what it is now. And then there's also still some basic little things, some shirts. And then obviously, probably because of the event, some Wiggles merchandise. 20 minutes later. Let's do it! 
Yeah, well, that's what they've been able to do. That's what we came up by a game together. Something called Quiet Quiet. It's a game called Silent Sex. But before we play, I just need to check. Does anyone know how to play Silent Sex? Oh, oh, well, okay. Let's play it together. Here we go. Listen and watch carefully. Really loud. Yeah, Captain. Yeah. If you drop the feather sword, everybody pull out sword. So if he drops his hand, pull out a hat. But it won't happen. No, well, everybody for 31 years, give him a big clap, Captain Feather Sword. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you. What was that? My hat and boy, right? Oh, I'm going to need that. That's awesome. Oh, dear, thank you very much. Yes, I need that. Oh. Yes, Katarina has got a microphone. If you could do Katarina's voice for real, Simon. Okay. Okay. Everybody ready? Here we go. Loki, <laughs> brace yourself. Here it comes. <laughs> the feather sword. <laughs> that worked. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> so I'm going to do I'm going to do, um, do Katarina's voice. Oh, we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> do you know what it sounds like? Ah. <laughs> so hi. Uh, Brace yourself. Here comes the <laughs> first right, This is working so fast. Yeah. Yeah. This is not oh. out. Member of Justice Group. And now for its own TV. And now it does. Here comes. Fantastic, now remember. <laughs> Hang on a second, this is going to be the end of the day. I'm glad I'm here. Baby, I'm there with a smile. Say it loud, say it loud, say it loud. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so we're finished in there. That was interesting, wasn't it? You really don't know what to make of it. Let's say that while you're here. <laughs> Let's get into the DreamWorks area and see what else is going on in the park, okay? Okay, just so we go past, we can see this Madagascar like jungle area has got a sign that says temporary closed. And we can see that a lot of the guns have been pulled down like over here, different theming aspects. So I'm not sure if this is being just refurbished and it's just coincidentally it's at the moment or if this is in reaction to the amount of COVID cases that we're getting in Queensland and around the Gold Coast area but either way it's interesting let's head down here and we'll see what else is going on okay and it looks like this little gingerbread flyer is also down but besides that it seems like most things are up and running so let's keep heading around the path into Tiger Island and see what else is going on there so I've just got into Tiger Island and I'm not sure if this is a, a new sort of restaurant or quick service location or if it's just not one that's normally open for us. Either way, that's kind of just there and we're turning and then like Tiger Island's there. So kind of very close, kind of cool. Got to check it out at some point, but until then, let's keep moving around and we'll check out what we can see in the way of Tigers, okay?
let's keep moving out of here. I know it's only a quick little whip around we're doing. Okay, so just got inside ABC Kids World. I think let's just get straight through there today because we've kind of had quite a bit of like Wiggles content and stuff today. And let's see if there's anything different in the Native Strand Animals area. First thing I'm noticing as we're kind of getting into the Native Strand Animals area is the rest of the park is really busy, like packed. Like ABC Kids area wasn't super bad, but still a lot busier than it normally is. But you can turn around. There is no one down here. Like, not sure why, but yeah, this area just so far seems completely empty. Which, truth be told, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice just to have like a relaxing little area of the park just to catch your breath and not have to worry about such big crowds and stuff like that. But let's keep going around and I'll point out if I see anything else interesting, cool, or that is open and or closed. This little shearing shed area is still closed, but Honestly, that was kind of to be expected. It seems like it's only going to be kind of used for like events at the moment. Hopefully it goes back to like daily use, but I guess while occupancy of the park is low, it's probably going to be kept how it is being used. But let's head up this little ramp and see what we can see. Okay, we have some cassowary just hanging out near the fence here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think over this side, we've got another one hanging out just underneath the street. Kind of a cute little place to chill. Yeah, so it looks like this like little gift shop back here for the koala photos is open currently. It's a busier day, so it's kind of into expected, but it's always cool to see this place open. Let's head into whatever you want to call this area here and see how far until we can go. Okay, we still can't get any further. This tree's getting quite big, it's overlapping the park. I honestly thought I saw a sign at the front saying we could go a bit further, but nope. It looks like the whole bats and whatever is up this pathway is still not able to be got to. It's unfortunate. Let's have a quick little look and see if we can see some of the Tasmanian devils or the birds around here, but then we may just start to move on. Okay, that's the last section and I can't see any, so that's unfortunate. This chain's back up, so we can't even go down and look at those birds there. But let's turn and we'll start moving our way through this area, okay? Almost through the area of like the Australian Native Animals area here. And I can't really see much else that's changed, new or different. Just seems like all the animals we can see are just like chilling. But besides that, it's all pretty much like a relaxed little day out here. I finally came across some people back here, so there's other people checking out, but still not as busy as the rest of the park. Up to the top here where we kind of look out for where we think the hotel is going. Nothing's changed. I can't see any more like land clearing going on the other side through the trees. So this is still up in the air what it's going to be used for, if it's going to be used for anything. But yeah, I'm going to keep heading up this path just because it's the easiest way I think. Should I make it back down? <laughs> okay, and then we'll get to the front of the park and see what like the Main Street Emporium has. Go up to the like, Main Street Emporium. I can't see anything else too new. Well, will say that. We have got a new mug here for the 40th with the old thing like the old logo on it and we've also got a block of milk chocolate it's kind of cool and looks like they're very depleted on their steel type and stuff that they had for the opening but they have still got the red and the blue for the 40th t-shirts that see the red one it's exactly the same just the sleeve colors and collar color is different Okay, I guess that's where I'm going to have to leave it for today from Dream World on the Gold Coast. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I know it was a very interesting sort of day. That was a cool like Wiggles sort of concert, lack of a better term, that we saw. But if you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified next time I upload. Also, social support, like always. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Guess that's a